Welcome to a 20 minute energizing mat. All you need is just the mat in your body. Let's get started. Please lie down on your back. Stretch the legs away from your body. Stretch your arms away from your body. Imagine that I'm pulling your arms and the legs away from you. So give yourself a full body stretch. Like a yawn with the whole body. So like your abs, your hip flexors, your whole body is just yawning. Now reach with your right hand, with your right foot away from you. Then the left hand, left foot stretching out and slowly release. Then bend your knees and bring your hands on your stomach. Just somewhere around your belly button and close your eyes for a few moments. And just connect to the breath. Take deep inhalation and then deep exhalation. Feel your body being heavy on the mat. I feel like your body relaxes even more with each exhalation. Just take a couple of breaths. Move your head gently to the left like you want to listen to the left side of the mat. And gently move your head to the right like you want to listen to the right side of the mat. And come to the center. Then bring one hand on top of the other, stack the hands and bring them under your head. We'll start with a couple chest lifts. Keep your elbows nice and wide and on the exhalation, curl up and look down towards your pelvis and then inhale slowly to lower down. So that chest lift is pretty small. Your shoulders just gently lift up the mat and then gently lower down. Keep the head pressing into your hands throughout the whole movement. So feel like whenever you're lifting up, your head is still pressing into your hands. And whenever you're lowering down, your head is still pressing into your hands. Powerful exhalation. Let's do that twice more. Feel like the hot air leaving through the mouth. And slowly release. Then let's straighten your legs away from you. Reach your arms above the head. Squeeze your heels together and stay strong with your legs. Feel like you're reaching with your feet to the wall. Inhale, lift the arms up towards the ceiling, lift the head and shoulders, look down towards your feet, squeeze your abs, bend your knees and pull the legs all the way in, lift your feet a little bit higher than the knees and just straighten one leg away from you and just pump your arms. We'll inhale, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, switch your legs and breathing in, two, three, four, five and exhale, two, three, four, and switch and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and switch and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and switch and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and switch and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and switch and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, and switch and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, switch one more, and inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, and release. Stretch your arms and legs away from your body. Now flex your ankles, lift your arms, lift the chin to your chest, peel the spine off the mat, and dive the head between your arms. And go slightly deeper. Then inhale halfway down, and exhale, melt your spine down towards the mat and reach your arms above the head. And with the exhalation, make as many wrinkles in your tissue as you can. And reach beyond your feet and reach farther. Then inhale, you roll back. Exhale, melt the spine down, bone by bone. Imagine that your spine is like a velcro and you're just peeling it off the mat. Dive the head between your arms. And slowly roll back down. Let's do that twice more. Feel like every repetition is evolution of the movement and you want to reach a little bit farther. You want to exhale a little bit deeper. On the way down, imagine that I'm pulling your legs away from you. So you want to stretch the back of the legs. And your last one, feel up and over. Reach beyond your feet, reach a little bit farther. And then inhale, halfway down. Exhale, melt your spine all the way down. Let's rest your hands on the side of your hips. Squeeze your feet together. 
Keep drawing the abdominals all the way in and up. Gently knock the chin to your chest so the neck stays nice and long. And use your core to lift your legs all the way up. Now on the exhalation, roll up and over. Lower your feet to the floor if you can. Flex your feet, open them as wide as the mat. And then use your abs and keep pressing your arms to the mat to melt that spine bone by bone down towards the mat. Lower the legs as low as it feels comfortable. And then exhale, roll over. Lower the feet towards the mat. Open them as wide as the mat. And roll down. Now make sure that your lower back is not lifting as you're reaching with your legs away. So then you'll know how much control you have. And you might know that one day you have a little bit more control than the other. Depends how much tightness we have in our body. And that was your last one. Let's reverse. Open your feet. Exhale, roll over. Lower the feet to the mat. Squeeze your feet together. Flex them and you roll down. Bone by bone. And lower your feet. Open and exhale to roll over. Let the power comes from your powerhouse. And with the breath, just melt that spine down towards the mat. Last one. Open, exhale, go over. Flex your feet. Go down, bone by bone, all the way down. Leave your right leg close to your chest and just lower your left leg down to the mat. Bend your elbows and pull that leg a little bit closer. Try to stretch that left leg away from your body and feel like you're pressing it down towards the mat as well. A little bit like we want to do splits. Now straighten that right leg up towards the ceiling and bend your knee for two more. Straighten out and bend one more. Straighten out and stay there. Flex your foot and point. Flex and point. Flex, stay pointed. And now draw three circles, one direction. And reverse them the other way around. Stay pointed. Bend your elbows and pull that leg a little bit closer. A little bit closer. One more time, a little bit closer. Hold it here. See if you could pull your abdominals all the way up. Think about your pelvic floor and then try to pull it up towards your ribs. Then bend your elbows, look down towards your pelvis, and we're going to climb that leg all the way towards your toes. Flex your foot on the top, grab your toes, lift your heart up towards the ceiling. Repoint your toes and you walk your hands down, bone by bone, and long that leg. Inhale, and deep exhalation. Walk all the way to your toes, flex it, lift your heart up, repoint your toes, lift your elbows high like you have big balloons under your arms, and let's do that one more time. Bring the chin to your chest and peel the spine bone by bone. Flex the foot, lift your heart up. Let me point your toes and you walk bone by bone all the way down. Imagine that your leg is like a screw inside your hip. Turn it out from that hip. Then engage your abs a little bit more to help you to hold that leg in the air. Press your arms to the mat. Inhale across your body. Exhale to lift that leg up. We'll go for single leg circles. We'll do that three more times. Inhale and exhale. Two, powerful exhalation. One, exhale, reverse them. Try to pause after each circle so you know where you started and when you finished the circle. Two more. One more. Exhale and bend that knee. Bring the leg across your body to the left and turn your head gently to the right. Like you want to lengthen the right side of your waist. See if your foot, your knee and your shoulder could reach down towards the floor. And slowly release, slide that right foot away from you. And notice that you have more space in your right hip. Maybe even more space on the right side of your waist. And the right leg should definitely feel like it's longer. And then hug your left leg closer to your body. Bring it all the way in. Feel like you're reaching with that right leg away. And I'll straighten that leg up towards the ceiling and bend for climb a tree. Now to keep it straight and now flex and point three times. 
stay pointed and draw three circles one direction and three circles the other way around. Now stay pointed, bend your elbows and pull that leg all the way in three times. Feel the nice stretch in the back of the leg. One more, hold it in, engage your core, bend your elbows and we're going to climb the tree. Line that leg all the way to your toes, flex your foot, squeeze yourself like a toothpaste. Repoint your toes and you walk your hands down along the leg. And with the exhalation, we'll walk along that leg, flex your foot, lift your heart towards the ceiling, repoint your toes and walk back down. One more time. Flex the foot, lift your heart, repoint your toes and walk all the way down. Now think about that leg being like a screw inside your hip. Turn it out. Keep your abs engaged. Press your hands to the mat. Inhale across your body. Exhale to lift. And with the breath. Last three. We have five all together. Last two. Keep that right leg actively pressing to the mat. And reverse. Open. And cross and lift up. With the breath. Three, two more times. One more, lift it up. Perfect, bend your knee and bring that leg across your body. And then see if you could lower your left shoulder, left knee and left foot down towards the mat. Feel the length on the width, the left side of your waist and slowly release. Straighten that leg, reach your arms above the head Flex your feet like you're pressing your feet against the wall. Give yourself one more stretch. Inhale, lift your head and shoulders. Curl up, look towards your feet. And you peel this pan, bone by bone. Reach beyond your feet, maybe even grab your feet with your hands. Bend your elbows and try to bring your chest closer to your legs. Then bring your feet together. Bring your hands on the side of your hips. Pick up your abs, lift them up, lift your bum off the mat and bring your bum closer to your heels. Now grab your shins with your hands, lift your elbows like you have balloons under your arms and then try to hide the head between your arms. Relaxing your shoulders, point with your toes and then inhale to go back, exhale curl up, pause here. Lower your hands down on your, on your ankles, lift your elbows a little bit higher. Try to scoop the abdominals in and up. Inhale to roll back. Exhale, come back. If that was feeling good, grab your heels with your hands. Lift your elbows a little bit higher. Connect the inner parts of your feet together. Then we'll inhale to roll back. Exhale to curl. Four more. If that's too much, come back with your hands on your shins or even under your knees. Last two. Powerful exhalation. One more. Powerful exhalation. Then lower your feet on the mat. Bring the hands behind you. Lift your bum off the floor. Scoop the belly in and up and bring your bum behind your hands and lower down to the mat. Then let's lie down on your mat, hugging the right leg closer to your body. Right hand will go closer to your ankle. Left hand is on the inside of the knee. On the exhalation, curl up and lift your elbows nice and high. So make sure that the outside arm is always farther out. Sink into your belly. Imagine that I'm pulling your left leg away from you and then switch your legs. And four, and we switch. Three, and then switch. Two, and switch. One, and switch. And now hug both legs in close to your body. Straighten your arms and legs away. And then hug the legs up. And you inhale to stretch. Exhale. And two more times. Stretch your legs and arms like a Viking boat shape. Hug the legs in. Lift your feet all the way up. Grab your right ankle. Bend your elbows. Pull that leg in twice. And then switch and pull, pull a little bit closer. Pull in, pull a little bit closer. Three more with the right, three more with the left. Pull, pull closer, pull, pull closer. One more with the right, 
One more with the left. Now lift both legs up. Keep your hands under your head and keep pressing the head into your hands as you're lowering your legs down and then lift your legs all the way up. Your lower back is not invited to the exercise. So see how low you can lower the legs without that lower back lifting up the mat. Exhale to lift. Two more. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to lift. One more time, lower down. Exhale, lift all the way up, bend your knees. Straighten that right leg. Bring your right elbow to your left knee. And then you rotate. Hot air leading through the mouth. Imagine that your waist is like a wet cloth. And you can twist it around and release. Hug the legs for a second. Straighten the legs out. Reach the arms above the head. Inhale, peel the spine off the mat, bone by bone. Reach towards your feet. Now open up your feet as wide as your shoulders. Bring the arms up towards the ceiling. Imagine that there are ropes hanging from the ceiling. Grab the ropes, lift yourself a little bit higher, and then on the exhalation, round your spine. And reach with the crown of the head between your knees. And then inhale, stack the spine back up. Lift all the way up. And then powerful exhalation. Curl the spine up and over. Inhale, lift up. Stretch up to the sky. Powerful exhalation. Think about lifting your pelvic floor as you're rounding your spine. And roll that spine back up. Let's do one more. Because they feel so good. Lift up and over. Feel like you're squeezing yourself like a toothpaste from your waist up to round that spine over. And lift back up. Open your arms to the side. Reach your arms forward. Now bring one leg in one hand. Then lift and bring the other leg in the other hand. Round your spine up down to your bed. And then we inhale to roll back. And exhale, curl back up. Inhale to go back. <sighs> Try to keep your head off the mat so the head doesn't touch the mat. Try to pause. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to lift. Last two. Your elbows will be reaching to the sides of the room. One more. Roll back. And curl up. And release. Let's open up the feet wider than the mat one more time. Spread your arms away from your body. Rotate to one side and bring your opposite finger to your opposite foot and go slightly deeper and inhale, lengthen. Rotate to the other side and exhale over the leg. Bringing that opposite ear to your opposite knee. Inhale, lengthen, rotate and powerful exhalation. And go deeper and left. Rotate and exhale. Exhale deeper. Last one each direction. Feel like you're squeezing your waist like a wet cloth. That back hand lifts up towards the ceiling. Like you want to touch the ceiling. And release. Let's swing your legs around and lie down on your stomach. For the first one, keep your forearms heavy on the mat. And your forehead is down on the mat. Relax your shoulders. Reach with those feet away. And then inhale, lift your eyes, look towards the mat. Look to the front of the mat, where the mat meets the floor. Look along the floor, and then slowly lower yourself down. You could imagine that you have paintbrushes on your lashes, and you're drawing a straight line, opening your chest, and slowly release. Now imagine that you just drank 10 liters of water. You can't use the washroom for the next hour. So the pee muscles are fully engaged and they're supporting you. Last one. We'll inhale, open your chest. And exhale, release. Now reach your arms away from your body. Keep the head between your arms and just lift your opposite hand with opposite leg. Try to keep your body as stable and as still as you can. Not only lift your arm, but reach as far as you can. Give yourself a nice stretch. Last two. 
and switch one more and switch and release please bring the hands on the side of your chest push the floor away sit towards your heels and just give yourself a lovely stretch along the back now walk your hands to the right corner of your mat stretch that left arm away from you and walk the hands to the left corner of the mat and stretch that right hand away from you then come back on all fours and just bring one hand under you, thread the needle, bring your ear towards the floor and the hand is reaching above the head. Twisting. Exhale deeply and come back and switch sides. The other hand goes under, thread the needle, reach with that hand above the head. Give yourself a nice stretch. And then slowly release. Come back, curl your toes under, Lift your knees up the mat and just walk your hands towards your feet and just roll the spine bone by bone all the way up. Let's do push up. We'll do three of those. Please squeeze your heels together. Toes will be like a fist distance away from each other. And inhale, lift your arms all the way up, keeping the head between your arms. On the exhalation, roll your spine. Try to bring your nose to your rib cage to your belly button, to your pubic bone, to your thighs, to your knees, to your shins. And then walk your hands along the mat. Stay strong in your body. Try to lift your spine a little bit higher. Modify your push-ups if you need to. You can always lower the knees down to the mat. On the inhalation, bend your elbows. Exhale, push the floor away. Let's do that twice more. Bend the elbows. Push the floor away. One more. Push the floor away, lift your hips all the way up, lower your heels to the ground as soon as you can and just walk your hands towards your feet and just roll the spine back up, lift your arms up to the sky, inhale to lengthen, exhale, draw those ribs down, keep lifting your pelvic floor up and over as you round in your spine and then walk into a plank again, we have two more of those. Let's go for three push-ups. Push the floor away. Bend the elbows and push the floor away. For two more, push the floor away. One more, push the floor away. Lift your hips all the way up. Lower your heels towards the, towards the ground and walk your hands towards your feet. Pause it here. Think about dropping your tail down first. Feel like the pelvis changes to lift your spine and stack one bone at a time. Then there are ropes hanging from the ceiling. Grab them, lift yourself a little bit taller, and then exhale, roll that spine down, bone by bone. Modify if you need to, that's our last one. Three repetitions. Spread your fingers, push the floor away. Stay strong in your body. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more. Lift your hips up. Lower your heels down. Walk your hands towards your feet. And then roll the spine back up. Drop the tail. Lift your hands all the way up to the ceiling. Give yourself a nice stretch. Now bring your right foot in front of the left foot. Grab your right wrist. Stretch up and over to one side. And switch. Grab the other wrist. Stretch up and over, lift your arms up and just shake the hands away. And we are done for today.